Well, hey guys. I am super stoked for today's video. Last year, I was introduced to the wonderful world of laser engravers. I did a video, a review on a 10 watt laser that was sent to me, and I was blown away by the capabilities of that laser. I ended up using it on a bunch of projects, and I was offered the opportunity to review basically the top of the line of the hobby laser. In this box is the X-Tool D1 Pro 20 watt laser. It's twice the power as my old laser, and I can't wait to get started. All kinds of goodies. Extra leg support. We've got the RA2 roller assembly for engraving cylindrical shaped items, round items. The air assist. Well, I think first we'll start off with the laser. kind of like opening up an iPhone. The packaging is insane and I've and I've seen other videos and they all say it but I mean this is high quality stuff. Wow. Wow. That is pretty. Well, I'm going to put this together real quick. Uh, I will time lapse that. There's a lot of detailed videos. They have detailed instructions on how to put it together, but this really shouldn't take very long, so I'm going to get to it. Alright, well the assembly went pretty easily. I think I had 30 or 40 minutes into it. Pretty straightforward. It's mostly pre-assembled. Another nice thing about Xtool is they offer free software for designing your projects. Uh, the last laser I had to spend $60 on a program to run it. I've got it loaded into my computer. I'm going to get the laser um, all set up in it. We'll do that right now. We'll Open up Xtool. And we will connect our device. Wow. It was that easy. <laughs> All right. Well, I think the first thing I want to do is make some wooden coasters for my boss's new tables. Okay, well I've got a piece of solid cherry wood uh, on this table here. It is just over 12 millimeters thick and just under half an inch thick. I wanna show you in real time how fast you can put together a project in creative space and turn it into reality. All right, so we've got a blank canvas here. I wanna make four coasters that has my former boss's logo on it. So I'm going to hit shape, circle, and I'm gonna grab that, bring it over, and I want that circle to be 
Let's go 4.2 inches. 2 inches. You see over here, it's set at score. We want that to be a cut. And on this cherry wood, I did a little testing and I found that at 100% and 8 millimeters per second, it would cut through that in five passes, six passes. And then I want to put another circle just inside of there. Uh, let's go shape again, circle, and drag that over. I want that circle, that'll be an outline inside of the actual coaster, and we'll make that four inches. Whoops, not 40. Four inches. And that should automatically be centered, but I'm going to select them both and go up here to arrange or align, align center, horizontal. Yeah, it's already aligned. It automatically aligned it. So highlighting that circle, we're going to score that and we're going to go 80% on the power. We'll go 20 millimeters per second, one pass. Then we're going to come up here and grab the logo. Bring it down. We'll shrink it up. And again, we'll select everything, align center horizontal. I think it's all, I think it automatically does it. Okay, I'm gonna highlight the text, and that's automatically set to engrave. And on this hardwood, we're gonna set the engrave power of the laser to 80%, and the speed at 100 millimeters per second and then we hit process ah I forgot one thing cancel I want four of these so I'm going to go to a grid array boom just like that now I've got four of them kind of come out of the same piece of wood Hit process. All right, well, the, the pieces didn't drop through, but most of the smoke was coming out from underneath the board, so I have a feeling they're pretty much there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm going to hit that with a light light sanding. It's not going to take much. That air assist really helps clean the smoke out of it. Probably could have done one more pass. Yeah. One more pass and I bet they'd have dropped out. 
Now, I barely hit these with some 600 grit sandpaper. Wiped them down with a little bit of cutting board oil and I am super happy with how good these look. Now I've been playing with this thing a little bit and I can't get over how sharp and how detailed this thing is cutting and engraving. I've been playing around with my logo a little bit. You can see the saw blade here is a little wonky looking and I, that's not the uh, laser, that's the template. So I've sharpened it up a little bit and I think it's time to try out the roller attachment. Now I think I might have misspoken at the beginning of this video when I called the X-Tool a hobby laser. This bottle here was done by a laser that cost over $20,000. I think he said it was $23,000, something like that. This one here with the air assist, the rotary attachment, and the 20 watt laser, everything you see is just under $1,600. You can buy these bottles for $6 a piece in bulk and you could make your money back very quickly. I am seriously impressed with how well this works. Everything works. You take it out of the box, you plug it in, it's easy and it works. It's, it's, I can't tell you how refreshing it is to have something just work. Well guys, I have one more thing I wanna try. I have a friend that's been bugging me for a long time about signing my work. And I think I've come up with a pretty cool way to do that. I'm gonna test it out right now. So we're gonna pretend that this piece of English walnut that I have on the table here is the underside of a finely crafted piece of furniture. I'm going to burn in my logo and number it and see how it comes out. A Northwest Sawyer Original 001. How about that? Well guys, if you think this thing is as awesome as I do, uh, you're definitely gonna be seeing more of this on my channel in the future. I'll have links down in the description. At the end of this video, I'll also have a QR code that you can just uh, take your phone and zap the screen that you're watching, um, unless you're watching it on your phone. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I want to thank X-Tool for giving me the opportunity to display this for you. I do make a few bucks if you choose to buy one. That being said, this is the third laser that I've received, um, but you've only seen two videos because the second laser was garbage and after fighting with it for days, I gave up and uh, they wanted me to pay to send it back, so it's still sitting out in my shop for about a year now. Uh, I'm telling you about this because I think it's awesome. If I tell you about a tool or an item, it's because I like it and I use it. Bottom line is, I'm not going to share anything with you that's uh, garbage. I don't want to be that guy. So I'm extremely happy with how this thing works and I will definitely be using this a lot. So check out my link, check out the QR code if need be. There's all kinds of accessories on the website. Um, but thanks for watching and uh, we're going to see you real soon.